now I'll show you how to put the assembled stuff onto your door. Uh, I took some dual lock, the Velcro kind of stuff, and put it uh, about even with your lock, and then some up here to hold the Arduino itself, which I put some on the back here, so just go ahead and stamp that in. Then you have the servo, which has stuff on the back of it. And you want to make sure that the axis of rotation of the servo is even with the axis of your lock. So it should be on the same parallel line. Uh, so just try to line it up as best you can. Stick it in. Um, then the knock detector. Um, that I've removed from the plastic buzzer. You don't have to do this, but I found it works better if you can pull it out of the case. Put a little black tape down to prevent the metal from touching my metal door, but if you don't have a metal door, it probably doesn't matter. Uh, and then um, some tape to sort of cover it up. But I avoid touching the piezo element in the center. It seemed to work better that way. That should do it. And then just, if you've programmed everything and you have your app engine set up, you can just plug it in and see the lights turn on. Uh, and then in order to sort of calibrate the arm, um, and if you have the iPhone app here, you can see just put it to the unlock position. Then that way you'll know what angle to put the arm on. So we have our shape lock arms that we kind of made in custom shape. Uh, and you may have to make them in different shapes depending on your door or where you put the uh, motor. But these are the two shapes I came up with. And the servo thing is sort of embedded inside of the plastic there. And then I drilled two holes in the ends here to stick the hanger through. So, uh, sort of, if I then take a strip of this adhesive stuff and cut it, and I'll just stick it on the lock. And stick this piece on. Yeah, looks good. There's probably other ways to mount this and you know you could be creative, figure out other ways to do it. So then you take your hanger and kind of slide it through like that. That's the one piece. And then take the other piece and slide it through like that. And then you'll want to just sort of look for the position where it feels comfortable. Since the servo is already in the lock position, you just want to like stick it on. That yeah, seems about right. Try turning it, make sure it can turn back and forth. Maybe I'll set it a little further. Uh, like that, maybe. That's better. And then test it out. Use the app. Uh, try to lock it. seems to work. Try out the uh, secret knock. Nice. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, enjoy.